Okay, hello once again. Here we are in the summer, beautiful. I've got myself a nice glass of water. I think you know what I'm saying. Anyway, what we're gonna to do today is slightly different from what we have been doing. You've seen in the new package, we've got sheets of bricks, sheets of windows. I'm gonna show you some stuff at the end of this that you can make with all this. But to begin with, I'm gonna show you a very simple, basic piece of kit. We're gonna make something a little bit like this. Do you see? Isn't that sweet? Nice, very, very simple. Not distressed at all. So all the brickwork is pristine. So I'm gonna show you it step by step. First step, simple. We're gonna look at the frontage. That's what I call it, the frontage of my little uh, factory here. Pure and simple, just get a bit of card, the size you want, cut it to size. That simple. It's got a little thickness to it. I think that's about two and a half mil. So you're gonna have the relief when you cut, put the windows in. Yeah, like a real architect, like a proper architect. So that's that first thing. Next, simply stick the bricks to it. Just cut a piece out of your sheet, the appropriate size, whatever size you're doing, stick him on. Just like that. Simple. So far, I use to stick it on, I use this sort of thing, you know, there are other things in the shops, you know, so it just goes on nicely. When I've done that, I'm, my next move is to mark out where I want my windows to be. Like so. See? See where I've done that? Ever so nice. I'll just show you how I do it. I've got my pencil here, my ruler somewhere, my straight, I call it my straight, straight line drawing device. A ruler, really. And we measure exactly where we want it to be. I'm having it in conjunction with these other fellows here. Simple as that, draw him out, la di da di da. Jobs are good, eh? Like that. So you've got all the shapes, just like that. It's a bit lighter, that one. All ready to cut out. Next stage, I cut them all out. Look at that. See that, isn't that beautiful? Now there's a special little thing. Obviously when you cut them out, if I can get up close here, you're gonna have the white of the card showing, where are we, that's it. The white, there we are, look there. The white of the card showing. So in order to get rid of that, you can just use felt pens, like a brown felt pen. I like to use a little bit of paint um, because that is the nature of what I do. I'm a painter, you see, by trade. I like to, here we are, just a little bit like that on my, Palette. Oops, that's my um, water, gin and water, like this. A little bit of paint, it's not like you could be like a real artist, look. Look at that, whoa. And then get in there, can you see this? And just paint inside. Can, you, can we see that? Yep. Paint from the inside of the building, otherwise you'll get it on the brickwork on the outside. Now look a bit messy, won't it? So we want to do it nicely like that. Isn't that nice? Oh, and it's, it's just finishing it all off. It's giving it that neat finish, you know, which is what we want. And if a job's worth doing, right, people? I know what you lot are like out there. It's worth doing well, eh? Because I've seen some of the stuff you've sent in and showed out, and it's top-notch, top-notch. Clever punch you are. Now I'm going to show you, and now I'm just going to cut out with a sharp knife Always use a sharp knife. You use a blunt knife, you'll cut yourself, son. That's what my mum used to say to me. Always use a sharp, sharp tool, son. Here we go. Now, here we go. And I'm just going to... We can just about see that, can we? Yeah. And just ever so carefully through the card. Through the card. Through. I always find it... It works better if you commentate while you're working. Through the card, keep it tight. Through the card. And and this is a bit I like. Boom. <laughs> did you see that? Oh, you did, is there? Look. And then you, of course, do that again. And then you've got all your holes ready to put your windows in, okay? Next, you cut your windows out of the, of the sheet that we've seen. Stick them on a bit of card to firm them up a bit. Yeah, like that, not so thick. This is just an old birthday card or something, you know? Recycling, that's the name of the game, people, recycling. 
keep it going, keep the world moving, keep it rotating. Okay, so there we are. And then I'm gonna stick them in behind on the interior. So you can see that we've got lovely relief there. I've chopped a little hole out of one of them. Can you see that? Ooh, very nice. I'm just gonna show you exactly how I stick them in. So here we go. Here's one I prepared earlier. So I've cut him out like this, right? I'm gonna just put a little hole here like this, do you see? So this is me, watch your fingers again, cutting a little hole out, just to give that extra little bit of relief in the window, like that, you see? Nice. Can you see me? <laughs> right, then I go like this, and this time I use a bit of the old PVA, and go around the back of the building on the inside and just dab a little bit around there. See, I like to smooth it off with the end of me, the old hairy stick here. That's my paintbrush, by the way, the old hairy stick. Turn it over and then just place nicely the window in the hole. Press it down, thus sticking it. Hey presto. And there we have your frontage. Now we put that to one side, now we're gonna to go to the sideage. The flankage, I think I call it. Where's my old flankage gone? Um, right, here we are. Now all we're gonna do is a piece of card this size, put a bit of brick on it, cement it to the side. I use a little stronger glue now when I start constructing the actual building. The old UHU yellow stuff, you know, that stuff. We've all got it. All the purpose adhesive, it says. It means you can stick anything, all, all purposes. So we just stick that to the side. If you want to put a little door in it, the side, I'll show you how to do that. I've started it. I've cut the size of the hole, the, the, the hole the size of the door I want. I've put a little wall there, can you see? A little recessed wall. I've got another one sitting here, over here, which I prepared earlier. See, so that's simple. I'm just going to get my glue, shove him down there like that, just a little bit along the side. Put the cap on the glue again, otherwise it all gets all what's it called, you know. And then shove the old wall there like that, and you really are. Oh, and then it dries very quickly, especially in this heat. I don't know what, you, what it's like around the world, but here in the UK, Oh, we've got a lovely day. It's a beautiful day. Should be out there drinking gin and tonics, really, but I love doing this stuff too much. Anyway, so there's my door that I've stuck. Got it once again out of the sheet. The sheet with all the doors and the windows in, yeah? So you get him out. It's a nice little black door, I thought. Just chop the end off him like that. So he's nice and straight at the bottom, yeah? And then with a little bit of glue, along the wall interior like that. Oh, it's coming out flowing fast and free. Sometimes that old glue, you know what it's like, it goes a little bit, what's it called? And then we go, I've got a little bit of strands and that, and there we are, and look, look at that. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? And now you can go in there, it's an entrance. It's superb. I love doing this. Now remember, with all that you've got here, you can do so much more. I'm just showing you a basic box, basically. This is a box that is still gonna look like, you know, the real pucker, real McCoy, yeah? So that's that. So now we've got that one stuck to that side, yeah? Now we're gonna get the one I've just done and stick him to the other side. Remember, on this one, we've got a roof that's set down into the building. So you'll need to remember to put bricks on the inside. I'll show you what I mean, you see? See this? Because that's gonna be visible. So you need to get a strip of bricks and just sort of glue them onto the inside. It's a nice little tip there, very useful tip. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with, um, how will that go? With whatever, oh, it's here. Whatever is on the back of your card. Normally it's just gonna be, you know, where do we, oh, there we are, there, there. Normally it's just gonna be something. This is, I just chopped up an old painting that I did. Yeah, recycling again. Um, so you need to put your brick on there. I'm not gonna bother with that now, um, but do remember that. Now get my glue again, here we go. As I say, it does glue very quickly. 
um, but it sticks very quickly. So just along the inside edge there, look, nice. Nice like that. Lid back on. Try and store your glue upright. I'll just put it in my little thing over here so it all seeps back into the tube. But I know these are silly little tips. I get glue all over me. I don't know about you. I get it in my glasses and my hair. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Now let's just move him into place. That's it. You don't even need flaps with this, really. You glue, if you've glued this nicely onto a strong mount board, you get it off cuts from the local frames. You get it anywhere. Um, they'll give it to you for free, bees. There we are. Look at that. And just, I just basically, I just hold it there for a couple of three minutes. So if you can just watch me holding it there for a couple of three minutes, I'll just smile inanely back at you. Now, not really. Come back in three minutes. Oh, back again now. I'm sorry. I was just doing a little bit of the old doodling. Now I like to do a bit of doodling, don't you? But, um, whilst I'm waiting. Yeah. Now you'll notice here that I've got a sort of. Um, um, I what, 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 what would you call that? Some sort of reinforcing stanchion type of thing. <laughs> is that such a thing? A reinforcing stanchion type of thing. Now this is to take the weight of the roof. Okay, well not the weight because it's not going to be that heavy. If it was a real roof, it probably would be quite heavy. But it's not a real roof. It's a roof to go on your model. So it's a model roof. Anyway, so. I've got two of them, both exactly the same height, okay? And they're going to go up to about, I've got them going up to, however you want, just don't, just a, a little under a centimetre from the top. And here I go again with my, what's it called? Glue. And a little bit down there. No, I'm just going to do it on this side. This, this is the edge that's really, 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 really straight. So I'm going to whack it along there like I couldn't. I just love gluing things, don't you? Gluing's one of my favourite things. Okay, let's put them down there like that. So now you can see one, two, two of these things. Again, we're going to have to let this sort of settle for a little bit. What I quite like to do with this is give it a little bit of a helping hand. Let's just get that in there. Now, now let's just let it, let's just you watch me grin inanely again for three minutes. Only joking. We'll come back in three minutes. Mmm. <laughs> Very nice. I've just seen the lemon. I was looking for a lemon earlier to go in my GMT. I've only just seen it. It's a bit late now, isn't it? Do you know what that means? It means I'll have to have another one. But it is, it is a sunny day and it is summer. Here I go. Now you might notice the top of my, what's it called here? flankage is white because it's it's the cross section of the card I use so what I'm going to do here is clean the old what's it called brush get it in there back in my little bit of paint there which I've got you can get you know just get for this sort of thing you don't need to get anything fancy in the world of paint and now I'm simply going to cement my roof on. This is probably the piece de la resistance, which is French for a piece of resistance. It's not really. I just made that up. So, the t exactly the same shape. We need the shape, exactly the shape of your roof. There it goes in there, look. Beautiful. Like that. Yeah. But, good. but what I've done is I have course from your printouts, I've just glued a little bit of sort of roofy tarmac onto the card. So it's going to be this way up, okay? I'm just going to make sure it fits in nicely. It's a little proud, actually. It's a little big. So what I'm going to do, I didn't quite measure that exactly right. It's, I just need to take a little... It doesn't matter if you get something slightly big, slightly small. You can always add or take away. So here I'm just taking a little sliver off the merest fraction of a millimetre. But it's worth doing, as we've talked about before. Let's, let's not cut corners, eh? Let's make it nicely. I'll check again. And now we see, oh, snug as the bug in a rug. So there we go. It's going to be all nicely. So get my glue again across the two, top of my two stanchions here, which is what I choose to call them. Beautiful. And on the front, 
of Albert's mother's. I don't know why I said that. Um, here we go. Right down the Austrian it calls it. Down the side of the old malarkey. And beating for pace. Sorry, that's me doing a bit of cricket commentary. Just, don't know why. Right, here we are. And in he goes. Oh, and you just hold it there for a little bit. Look at that. Oh, and that, my friends, is the simple, simple act of making a really, really authentic looking piece of kit. Look at that, how quickly we did that. And that is very, very simple to do. It's very, very simple. You're just working basically on just to go through it again. One wall, two wall, three wall, roof. I've made this to as a low relief to sit against another building on the side of your layout, but just as easy, going back to what one we did earlier, just stick that there, you know, with its windows in, and there you go, you've got the full monarchy. How about that? You can make it a little more, oh, with the little bits at the top there, look at that. Tiny little bits that I've cut along the top there. These are just strips also cut out from stuff that you'll see on your kit that I've just put along the top to bolster that up nicely. They're little touches. What I've showed you here is the basic, basic thing. It's up to you to do your own little touches, to make it your own, make it your own thing, make the whole thing yours. Make it sing, sing friends, make it sing. Like the sound of music. Oh, and now I'm gonna show you some of the things that I've built with this kit. Now that's the simplest thing. Some of them I've done with a darker brick, some of them with a lighter brick. Some I've even mixed up. <gasps> so we're gonna take the camera down now and I'm gonna sweep it across some of the buildings I've done. This is just a fraction of what's possible with this latest scratch building. We'll call it a scratch building kit. Yeah, and this is just a fraction. Drop in the ocean of what you can do, okay? I promise you, if you can do that, what I've just done, if you can do that, everything else I'm going to show you is just a slightly bigger version, slightly more complex in certain areas, but nothing you can't handle. Okay, we're going to start off with a dark brick, like the one that I showed you earlier. There's that one. Now, here we go. This basically is just a bigger version of what we've got going with a couple of add-ons, including the bit that's just fallen off the top. I'll put those on at the end. Ready, here it comes. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that bad boy. Oh, and look at that bit of the side. Oh, that is just basically another box thick to the side of this box. It just boxes. But look at that, isn't that marvelous? Again, I haven't distressed it at all. If you want to sort of, um, I always call it distress. What's the other word? Oh, I don't know. Um, just for, you know, just, just dirty it up a bit. So that's beautiful, isn't it? I'm going to place him down here. Here's another one I did. Again, very similar. This one now comes... Actually, it's not very similar. But look at the shapes of this. Oh, really coming from an aerial aspect. Look at that. Isn't that a swish? And then we turn him around like that. Oh, I love the way I've got these corner windows there like that. So use your imagination, you know, just when you're out, look at buildings, get inspiration from your surroundings, okay? Beautiful, that. Oh, I really like that. It's as dinky as anything. That can go, like so already, look, you can see we're building up a whole industrial scene here, you know, a whole, a whole narrative. Now, this is a different one. It's got some, it's slightly longer. It's got a bit of a sort of almost art deco feeling to it. I don't know. Again, look at that. Oh, I've got it. This is with the lighter bricks, you see, and two different types of windows here. But that's it. Once, you know, the light bricks, the top that you, that I've used on the, the, the tarmac that I've used on the top of all of these buildings. I've just printed it out several times. Remember, you know, if you, you make the purchase, you can print it out as many times as you want. 
is you don't rebuy things. And no, 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 not here. Look at that. And if you look closely at the brick work there, each brick was done individually. Yeah, hours of work went into that, I can tell you. Not the making of it, but the designing of it. But I love it. I do it for you. And me. I like doing it. Anyway, this one can go there. What about this for a hybrid? This is me using two separate types of bricks. And here we go. I love this one. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? It's basically more of the same of what I've just showed you. It's just larger, more ambitious, certainly. But where are we without ambition? Hmm? Hmm? And this, this is just a beginning. This is just a beginning. So we shove him there, not like that. And I've got a couple of little, little things you can just fiddle about with. For instance, what about this little chap? This is just something I did ever so quickly just the other night. This is the sort of roof that you can use, a different roof that's coming in the pack. Nice, isn't it? Beautiful. I've done a little bit of relief at the top there, you see. Chop the malarkey off and built it up. Very nice. Right the way round with this one. Just little blank walls there. No problem at all. Lovely. It could even sit on there. I've just invented something. <laughs> didn't it? Fits, works, doesn't it? Shows you. Another little chimney pop that I've made. These are little accoutrements. Look at that. Beautiful. That goes there. These are a couple of little water towers. There'll be a little sheet with this sort of funny stuff on. I've just simply cut the top of a plastic bottle there. That's all that is. And then stuck around and made a circle. Stuck the circle onto the top. Again, cut out of one of the um, cutouts. And then put four little cocktail sticky things, which I painted in a sort of... Just use felt tip again on that, and it looks they look rusty then, so that sits nicely on, on the top there, look. Because you know that the factories have all sorts. There's a little square one, little water tower tank. You can sit there like that. I'm obviously not going to pile all this stuff on there. And what about this? Just one last thing. Oh no, here's a good one. Look at this one, look at this. Ooh. That's a little more complex. You, you have to use your imagination a bit on the roof. But look at it this way. If you can do one, like that, see it? If you could just do one, obviously you can do two, three, four, five, six. You can do a hundred if you want. That would be a bit much, I think. Imagine a hundred of them. Pfft. No, it's not gonna work, is it? So we shove that down there. I've also done, and basically, oh, and look at this. I really like this. Why not just the basic, Wall, look at that! Isn't that brill? Isn't that fantastic? So you can really use your imagination with this, with this uh, offer, with with this pack. You can, and I'd really be interested to see what you come up with as well. Um, that that I, I'd love to see that. See, what you, I'm sure some of you can do stuff that's even better than what I've done. <laughs> I know you will. Well. All I can say now is happy modelling, happy modelling. I can't wait to see what you've been up to. Honestly, you're going to have the best fun ever with this. You really are. One last thing. One last thing. And I'm going to show you this if I can find it. Here we are. Now, this is... <laughs> that was an earthquake. <laughs> this is what you're looking at, isn't it? Nice and clean, nice and crisp. But what about if you do want to... Give all that to it, eh? I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I might do. I'll get my sharp scalpel somewhere it is here. There we are. And I'll just go in between the brickwork. Let's do a bit on this side. Can you see there? Let's get it up a bit here. And I'm just going to scrape him in there like that. Just weather the brickwork a little bit, you see? I'm just going to do a little bit for you. See, it's taken a bit of a caning now, this over the years. Needs a bit of repointing, this does. I love doing this sort of thing. You probably know that. Don't you? So that you've chopped a little bit out of it, you see? You see that? All we're gonna do now is with my little brush that I've got here. Tiny little brush. It doesn't have to be a tiny little brush, that brush will do it. Clean it off. 
get some of the paint that I want. It's a brick colour paint that I like. I don't know what I've done with it. There she blows. Burnt umber, that'll do. So put a little bit there. Oh, that's not my palette, but I'm using it as a palette. There we are. And then just touch it up nicely. Like this. I'm just going to go in there and touch it up nicely. Look at that. Oh. Oh. And that's what I love. There's a sort of irony here, isn't there? Lovingly. I'm lovingly destroying something. Well, not destroying something, but look at that. And you can just do that. Don't go mad all over the place. Just have a, you know, imagine how it might go. And you can see little bits that I'll just show you again. There's little bits of moss grown out of there, which I've just got from the shop and stuck them on, you know. And maybe even something from the garden, you know, that sort of thing. And that will be how you'd sort of distress your immaculate looking buildings. So, that's about it really this time, folks. Have fun. Have fun.